So this tutorial is for artists that don't really care that much about Python, but that do want to get some more mileage out of customizing Nuke beyond the means of what the preferences pane can offer. So we'll have a look at a couple of Python commands without going too much into the scripting languages properties and all that. So don't freak out too much. I'll just try to give you the tiniest bits of information you need to really get a lot more out of customizing Nuke. So first of all, bring up the script editor. If you don't have it up already, you can grab that anywhere in the interface. And let's say when I create a Bezier node, I don't want it to come up with the output knob set to RGBA because usually I only want it in alpha channel and I don't want it to override red, green and blue. So the first knob default we want to set is the Bezier knobs output knob and we want to set it to alpha, which will be this alpha layer. So let's do that. The command we need for this is called nuke.knobdefault with a capital D and in parentheses after that we will give it a couple of arguments to uh, make it do what we need it to do. So the first argument is a string so you use either single quotes or double quotes and the first thing you want to type here is the notes class. In that case it's called Bezier followed by a dot and then followed by the knob name that we want to change. In this case it's the output. After that we'll do a comma and then the second argument again is a string so start with a quote and the new value we want to use as a default value is alpha because that's the name of the layer we want to make the busy node draw into. And then we'll go and correct our typos here and after that execute the script by either hitting this button up here or you can also hit Control enter or command enter on a Mac. So after executing this knob default command, creating a Bezier node will now cause it to automatically draw into the alpha layer so we don't have to fill with this anymore. Another knob default I like setting is for the um, exposure node, which is in the color menu here. And I like working in, in F stops, so I like setting this guy here to stops and I don't want to have to do this all the time. So let's let's set up another knob default. I'll bring up the last command with this little arrow button up here and just simply copy paste that because I'm lazy and then swap this for the new node class that we're now trying to set. And you might have noticed even though this guy is called exposure in the menu, the actual um, node class is different. The first tab should give you a clue of what the node class itself is. If you're not sure, simply select the node and hit I that will bring up an info viewer and that will explicitly tell you the class of that node that you need to use in those Python and expression commands. So that's exp tool. Make sure you get the lowercase and uppercase right. And the knob name is not adjust in, but instead if I hover my mouse pointer over it, it's mode. Uh, the first word in the tooltip that is written in bold letters will tell you what the actual knob name is. So don't rely on the labels and don't rely on the node names. Make sure you double check the class and the knob name. So this guy is called mode. So what we want to type is exptool.mode and the new value could be stops. Again uppercase and lowercase is important and I forgot to close my quote over here and I'll hit command enter and create a new exposure tool and you can see it's now set to stops. Another thing I could have done to use the value is simply use the index of the list. This is index 0, 1, 2 and 3. So instead of instead of uh, assigning the word stops we could have assigned the index 0 and that would work as well. So there you go. A little something that I like using on various nodes is to make them draw certain values into the node graph right here. The way we can do this is using the label and using a very short TCL command which is simply called value and have that evaluate for the label. So in this case I want the exposure tool to draw the value of the mode knob into the node graph so I'm gonna type value mode Oops, with a space in between and if you put this whole thing into square brackets it will evaluate the script that it is and will actually return the value of that knob in the node graph. So that's kind of neat because you can see straight away if that particular node is set to densities, lights, stops or Cineon. 
And if you can't be bothered to remember this expression, and this can actually be a fully blown TCL expression and even a Python command, uh, once again you can simply set a knob default. And I'm going to do this again, copy paste. We'll uh, this time we'll set a default for the label. And um, this is going to be our new knob default. So now once that's set, we don't have to worry about remembering that syntax and everything should fall into place. So now here we go. This is set to stops and we've got the TCL script expression in the label and we can happily forget the syntax of it.